very good evening. This is Abigail bringing to you the Salation News across the globe. On the occasion of the 500th anniversary of the first Mass in Chile today, November 11, our Holy Father, Pope Francis, sent the Bishop of Punta Arenas, Salation Monsignor Bernardo Basres Florence, along with the congratulatory messages to all the Diocese of Chile. Bosco Skills is a space of opportunity, a platform designed with the aim of spotlighting the research practices developed by educational institutions as well as the fundamental skills that take place within the formative process of children and young people in Salesian schools and in the vocational training centre. Very intense days, those live from 27 to 30 October last by the participants in the meeting of the Mediterranean Region's Regional Formation Commission. Strictly online, the meeting constituted a forum for the formation of the delegates for formation to inform themselves and participate in the current challenges of formation and to draw up the Regional Formation Plan 2020 to 2026 in the light of the indications arising from the Salesian Congregation's 28th General Chapter, GC28. Hope is a word that in difficult times like the ones we are experiencing takes on an even greater value. Never as much as the present, we all need to hope. And it is around this word, in fact, that the message of Father Guillermo Bassinus addressed to the whole congregation revolves. My dear brother Salicians of Don Bosco, very happy to greet you. Uh, some days ago, here at the General Aid, the Salicians, they asked me to offer them some uh, reflections for the, the day of the recollection. And immediately came to my mind to go ahead with uh, what has been the experience of the General Chapter. And as you know, this General Chapter 28 uh, has... Uh, Finish in a very special way, I would say, it has not been an special chapter, but a very special chapter. And uh, we have just received uh, these uh, post chapter reflections. You know? And uh, in this reflection I have offered to the solutions in our community here, I chose this title uh, The Wonderful Opportunity, The Salesian Places of Hope. And I took this expression from Rector Major himself, whom after having presented to us the eight guidelines of the congregation for the next coming years, he said, this is a wonderful opportunity. Talitians of Don Bosco, we have in front of us this coming six years as a wonderful opportunity. I was caught by this, uh, by this hope. And as you know, Rector Major is preparing and has already announced the strainer for 2021 about hope. No? And uh, I felt the need uh, and also the situation that we are living gave me even more time for that to go through the Spesalvi. You remember the encyclical letter of uh, Pope Benedict XVI where he spoke about uh, hope, the theological virtue of hope. If you have time and courage, I invite you go through this encyclica and uh, try to Connected with what Rector Majors is inviting us to do during this coming six years, six years full of hope. Um, solutions who are friendly solutions, solutions who are hardworking solutions, they find the way to express hope to humanity and express hope to young people uh, through this way of doing. And I think that uh, this is a beautiful and very encouraging discovery. Uh, that uh, we can do in these coming months or coming days, no? to understand that as a legion of Don Bosco, we are called to be men of hope. And one of the most credible way of being men of hope is by this capacity of creating reciprocity in our friendship and our capacity of 
thinking through our hard working and proposing through our creativity new answers to the young people who are waiting for us. Uh, may the Lord blow abundantly in our communities and our hearts so that really we can write all over the world as men of hope, as the Moscow taught us. On Saturday, 31st October 2020, the Philosophical Institute of St. Francis of Sales in the East Timor Vice Province marked another important event in its history by certifying 27 students who successfully completed their studies in social philosophy. There were 27 graduates, 18 from SDB clerics, 6 lay, all of them former seminarians and 3 from the Carmelite Order OCD. On 28 October, the Salesians of Lisbon celebrated the feast day of youth holiness, experienced differently from previous years due to the pandemic-related restrictions. The Eucharistic celebration was attended only by last year's students and class directors, always respecting social distancing, while the rest of the school community followed the Eucharist in live streaming. While all activities took place in the classroom, it was still a moment of powerful communion and joy which highlighted that the joy of living cannot be confined. In the Salesian House, Don Bosco Congreso, in Buenos Aires belonging to the South Argentina province, ARS, the young people of the Exploradores Battalion and of the communities of the Education Ministry continue to carry out the No One Save Himself on his own campaign, distributing food baskets to 70 families in the neighborhood. On November 4, the blessing ceremony took place in the area where the museum dedicated to the servant of God, Father Carlo de la Torre SDB, will be located that is near the statue dedicated to him in the Fra May Mary School in Southhorn, Bangkok. The ceremony was presided over by Father Joseph Banchong Santisuk Niran SDB, Vice Postulator of the Process of Beatification and Canonization of the Servant of God. Present were the daughters of the Royalty of Mary Immaculate, consecrated secular and the sisters of the royalty of Mary Immaculate consecrated religious institutes sprung from the daughters of the regality of Mary Immaculate founded by Father de la Torre together with the teachers and students of the Frame Mary School and Frame Mary School of Satu Pradit. The museum will house articles and relics of the servant of God useful to testify his holiness of life and his faith in God and in the Holy Virgin. The annual meeting of the Youth Ministry delegates and the members of the Provincial Youth Ministry team of the South Asia region was held from 1st to 4th of November. The animation of the meeting conducted through the Zoom platform was by Father Miguel Angel Garcia, General Counselor for Youth Ministry, and by Father Patrick Anthony Raj of the Youth Ministry team. The main topics of sharing and discussion were reflection following the face-to-face -face meeting, the pastoral keys of the GC28, the timetable of the youth ministry team for the next six years, and the solution to youth movement. 51 solutions participated and interacted in the sessions. In the final session, Father Garcia published the report of the Don Bosco Youth Animation DBYA for 2019-2020. He also summarized the four days of the meeting in three recommendations, simple, clear and flexible structures of youth ministry. The vacation ministry is the crown of the youth ministry. The Salesian youth movement must be strengthened at the local level, the provincial level and made visible at the regional level. During this period of a health and social crisis caused by the pandemic, the Salesians of the Assumption of Mary Province of Central Africa, AFC, inaugurated on 5th November a device for the supply of drinking water to be distributed to the local population. Father Albert Kabugi, AFC Provincial, inaugurated and blessed the new facility in the presence of the Salesians and the entire educational pastoral community of the AFC Province and thanked the benefactors for supporting the project. The water called Don Bosco water is bottled and distributed to the local population.
So viewers, with that, we have come to the end of today's edition. See you again tomorrow at the same time and in the same channel. Thank you for being with us.